In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the Fibonacci sequence using a recursive function in Python. So the Fibonacci sequence is this sequence of numbers here. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on forever. You'll notice that each number in the sequence is the sum of the two previous numbers. So for example, 21 here is the sum of 13 and 8 and 13 here is the sum of 8 and 5. The Fibonacci sequence is defined by what's called a recurrence relation. In a recurrence relation, each term is defined by a function of the previous terms in the sequence. And in the case of the Fibonacci sequence, the term n is defined as the sum of the terms n minus 2 and n minus 1 in the sequence. So for example, the term 8 here is defined as the sum of term 7 and term 6. And 8 plus 13 gives us 21. Now in the Fibonacci sequence, we're just given that term 0 is 0, and term 1 is 1. And we can use these terms to calculate the rest of the terms in the sequence. When talking about recurrence relations, we call these the initial conditions. Let's actually create our recursive function now. We'll call the function fib, and the function is going to calculate term n in the sequence, so we'll call the parameter here n. Now we have our two special initial terms, where term 0 we know is 0, and term 1 we know is 1. So first, we'll take care of those special cases. We'll have here, if n is equal to 0, then we're just going to return 0, else if n is equal to 1, then we're just going to return 1. And then for terms greater than 1, we're going to define those terms using the previous terms in the sequence. So we're going to have return fib n minus 2 plus fib n minus 1. And here's where we're using recursion, because we're calling the function with the term n minus 2 and the term n minus 1, and then we're going to sum together those results. Let's try this out. Here we'll have print and fib 8. So we'll try to calculate term 8 in the Fibonacci sequence. We'll save this and then run our program. And here we get 21. And that is correct because 21 is term 8 in the sequence. We could use a loop to calculate the sequence up until some term. So for example, we could have 4n in range 0 to 16 to calculate the first 16 terms in the sequence. Then here we could have print fib when it's past n. We could save this and run our program. And here we can see that we do calculate successfully the first 16 terms in the sequence. To help understand how the algorithm is working, it might help to visualize some small cases. So for example, let's say we call the function with two. That means fib is going to be called with zero here and one here. And we know that fib one is going to return one. And we know that fib zero is going to return zero. So fib two is then going to be one because one plus zero is one. And that's how we calculate fib two correctly. And so when fib is called with three, it's going to look like this. We'll have fib three results in function calls fib2 and fib1 because 3 minus 2 is 1 and 3 minus 1 is 2. And we already know how the function call to fib with 2 is going to work. We know it's going to return 1. And we know that fib1 is also going to return 1. And 1 plus 1 is going to give us 2. And that is what we get here. So that's what our Fibonacci function looks like when it's executing. We call these branches of the if statement the base cases or base steps because they're what eventually stops recursion. We call this branch the recursive step or the recursive case because that's where the recursive function call occurs. Now because we have two recursive function calls here, we can call this binary recursion or we can call it multiple recursion or we can call it tree recursion. We can probably already imagine how calling this function with large n numbers would result in massive trees of recursive function calls. So this algorithm is not efficient. 
we would say that this algorithm has exponential time complexity, but this is still a fun algorithm to learn. So this is how we can calculate the Fibonacci sequence using recursion in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.